Thank you for listening to Read BBS. Read BBS. BBS. Tia Fimo. Ho. Tia Fimo. Ho. Tia Fimo effing Lopez. It's been a minute since I covered this individual. This dude. I'm a fan of his. I've been on the bandwagon forever. Uh, he's the man at 140. He's the man now. I didn't like how he retired and then unretired, playing with our emotions like that, Smokey. I didn't like that so much, but Teofimo's back in the saddle, has been back in the saddle. He uh, recently announced he'll be returning early 2024. Now, uh, he has been divorced. Uh, I'm sure there was some alimony he had to allocate through the course of that. So I'm sure that's what led to the downtime he's had, you know, why make another fight for this year if he was just going to have to split that up any fucking way? Start clean in 2024. I get it. I get it. I support it. And proceed accordingly, bruh. But yeah, like I stated, Tia Fimo's the man in 140. You become the man by beating the man. Josh Taylor was undisputed at 40. Okay, what nobody says about him now. And Fimo beat the brakes off of him. And it was one of the performances of the year. There's no award for a performance of the year along with the other boxing awards that are handed out, bandied about, handed out each year. But if there was a performance of the year award, Fimo would be a candidate. His win over Taylor now, of course. When you talk about Bud Crawford's win over Earl Spence or the win of my dude, my breath, my Tomodachi, now Oya Inoue over Cool Boy Steph. Those two have to be at the top of the list of any performance of the year argument. But Tia Fimo over Josh Taylor is in the discussion. It's in the discussion. But yeah, he retired right after Josh Taylor. Then unretired, fortunately. Uh, you know, man, I was happy about that because I did a video that wasn't so nice. And I apologize, Fimo. But yeah, man, I was in my feelings when you retired, bro. Because I knew you was coming back. You came back. That's, that's all I'll say about that. That's all I'll say about that. Fimo spoke of uh, the Showtime the, uh, the Showtime news, how they'll be uh, closing up shop at the end of 2023. And Fimo had some interesting thoughts. He spoke of boxing and MMA coming together to try to build something instead of keeping those pies separate, try to start one combative sports pie. Uh, he was questioning how uh, the proceeds are, spit, are split just from what Top Rank makes from ESPN on a yearly basis, how those proceeds are split. And he said the only combat sports union, uh, only combat sports union was a cash grab union or something, something to that effect. I'll find it and post it, uh, his tweet that he, but his, his mind is in the right place. Unionization, way easier said than done. And I don't want to go off on a tangent. In that regard, but that's where Tia Fimo's head is at right now. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya has been speaking ambitiously, in fact, too ambitiously, in my opinion, about a Super Bowl card featuring uh, Tia Fimo Lopez and possibly against Ryan Garcia, which makes no fucking sense knowing Garcia is about to return December the 2nd. But, uh, you know, De La Hoya, his goals are lofty. He, of course, said all this when they opened the Sphere, uh, the latest new building to open in uh, Las Vegas, like they need another glorious uh, event center. But, you know, that is what it is. It's Vegas. He spoke of Ryan and Tia Fimo or uh, Tia Fimo and Ryan against possibly a Dev or a Regis winner. And with De La Hoya, of course, being Golden Boy and them having a DAZN contract, and De La Hoya's past business dealings with Top Rank. It's not completely out of the realm of possibility, but by the Super Bowl, that's just not going to happen. Not with Ryan. You're not going to have him fight early December and then return in February. I just can't see that happening. And that's assuming when he comes out for Duarte State fight with no with uh, no ill damage on him at all. You know, assuming he was prepared to fight, he wouldn't come back that fucking quickly. But yeah, Fimo. Haven't done a FEMO video in a minute. Just wanted to uh, bring everyone up to speed on where he is, what he's doing, and 
And we should expect big things from him early 2024. From Tia Fimo. Oh. Read BBS. BBS. Blackberg Sugar. Bachelor's in Boxing Studies. Television. Fred Sanford of the Fisticuffs. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.